Okay, on to number 33 on the greatest of all time. Um, and it is uh, Mr. Warrior, the ultimate warrior. Um, now, this guy is a, another controversial pick, uh, but I don't see why he should be a controversial pick. The WWE has done a great deal to undermine um, <coughs> his uh, influence and his, you know, um, and his place in, in the WWE. Um, one of the, for me, one of the greatest baby faces of all time. Uh, you can say what you want about him. You can look back and see him as a bit antiquated um, and something that doesn't appeal to modern generations. But at the time, he had his finger on the pulse, and oh, did he! I was actually a Hulkamaniac at the time. I was very, very upset when uh, Hulk Hogan lost to the Ultimate Warrior, but looking back, I think he deserved it. Um, the fact of the matter is, um, you know, he wasn't the greatest in the ring performer, not by a long shot, but to be honest, uh, like, a lot of baby faces aren't. A lot of baby faces aren't. You go back and you look at some of the old tapes of baby faces, um, and you look at uh, modern baby faces, um, John Cena being a very big example, you know, the biggest thing in the business at the moment. And they're not great in ring. They 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 have their five moves of doom and that's what they do. Uh, the point is they just connect with people somehow. And the ultimate warrior had charisma to spare. Um, you know, you should, I, I don't care what you say, um, you you watch an Ultimate Warrior uh, promo and you know you have been tangoed. You do not know what the fuck's going on. Why, what is going on in his mind? Oh, the Warriors and the Warriors from the Gilmax system are feeding into my veins and breaking my bones. And, you know, and all of that stuff, you know, and you're just like, okay, strange guy, but hey, that was cool. You know, whatever you want to say, that frenetic energy that he had translated and transmitted straight through the screen. And you couldn't take your eyes off him. When he, when he was cutting his promos, when he was running into the ring, and he was, uh, you know, bouncing the ropes um, up and down, it was just pure energy and pure entertainment. And that's what you're supposed to be as a WWE superstar. I think he's one of the greatest talkers of all time. Depends on how you look at it. Do you have to be a witty, badass, you know, make jokes? Or can you just be like an intense, uh, you know, spaced out motherfucker? And that's what um, the Warrior did so well. Um, as I said, I was one of the Hulkamaniacs. And at the time, I didn't like him at all. But um, looking looking back at it now and uh, looking back at some of the videos and what he did, I think he is one of the greatest. Um, one of my dream matches for WrestleMania would be the Ultimate Warrior versus Goldberg, I think that would be fucking amazing, um, just in terms of the build-up. I don't know if the match would uh, live up to the hype, but, you know, you, you would never be able to know who would win that match. It would be right on the, uh, you know, pulse. Um, uh, and, you know, I, I, I truly, truly uh, salute um, the Ultimate Warrior. He, he was um, by far the most uh, unique character to ever um, completely, completely make the world of WWF um, infatuated with him. Um, hats off, uh, yeah, uh, warrior for life, cool.